Sanya, a 13-year-old curious girl who studies in class 8. Mummy, Sanya's mother, who facilitates them in understanding different concepts. Kabir, Sanya's 14-year-old brother, who helps Sanya contemplate things and perform various activities. The concepts we learned are Light makes it possible for humans to see the objects in the world. 2. There are two kinds of objects in the world. Non-luminous, luminous. Non-luminous objects need other sources of light to shine. For example, moon. Whereas luminous objects have their own light like candle, sun, etc. Most light that we see in the world is reflected light. The light ray which strikes any surface is called the incident ray. The ray that comes back from the surface after reflection is known as the reflected ray. The angle of incidence is always equal to the angle of reflection. This is one of the laws of reflection. The incident ray, the normal at the point of incidence and the reflected ray all lie in the same plane. When all the parallel rays reflected from a rough or irregular surface are not parallel, the reflection is known as diffused or irregular reflection. Reflection from a smooth surface like that of a mirror is called regular reflection. Reflected light can be reflected again by placing two mirrors in front of each other. This way the reflected ray gets bouncing across both the mirrors and also multiple images get created in the mirrors. Sanya, you have been watching the television for two hours at a stretch now. Yes, Mummy. Actually, I like this show very much and all the missed episodes are being telecasted today. I know that, Sanya, but watching television continuously will ruin your eyesight. Would that be okay for you? Okay, Mummy. I'll switch off the television now. What do I do now? Mm, let me go outside and see if Kabir is in the park. Ah! What is the matter, Sanya? Why did you shout like that? Since I was watching television in dark, I suddenly went out in the sun to look for Kabir. The light came sharply to my eyes. I almost felt like I went blind for a moment. Oh, close your eyes for a moment or two and calm down. It will all get better in a moment. Why does everything feel so dark here? I can't see anything. Kabir, sit down on the chair, close your eyes for a moment and then look in the room again. Tell me if the light feels enough then. Yes, I can see much better now. What just happened here? I went from a dark place to a lighted one and I couldn't see. And Kabir came from a lighted place to a dark one and he couldn't see. I know what happened. Our eyes were adjusting to the light both inside and outside. Since the room has a lot less light than the afternoon sun outside, our eyes had difficulty in quickly adjusting to the changing environment. 
Exactly. We are to explore a lot of things about light and eyes, right? Yes, let's explore. Look here, Kabir. The book says that the muscle called iris controls the amount of light that enters our eyes. That is right. See, this is how it looks from up and close when the iris allows more light to enter the eyes. Friends, can you tell when does the iris allow more light into the eye and when does it allow less? You can take two minutes to think about it. You can do an experiment for the same. Sit in a dark room for a while and then go out in the sun. Ask your friend to see how open your iris in each condition is. Now we know that the white portion of the eye is called cornea. The iris muscle is responsible to control the amount of light entering the eye and the lens focuses light on the back of the eye on a layer called retina. Do you remember seeing the camera lenses at the store Kabir? These lenses function almost as similar to the eye. Yes, that is why we need to keep good care of our eyes. Or repairing our eyes can be a costly procedure. And many a times, if we lose our eyesight, we may never get it back. Hmm, I have to be careful while watching television. Sometimes I just forget and keep watching for hours. Friends, can you tell me the measurement for perfect vision? Yes, you are right. It is 20 by 20. If you have been to an eye testing center, you will see that the ophthalmologist will check your eye and then give your vision a number depending upon how your vision is. If you haven't been to an ophthalmologist yet, you should definitely visit one. Sanya, do you know that there are many kinds of eye disease that can happen to anyone? One of them is cataract. The eye lens becomes cloudy. Thankfully, this is treatable in modern times. The opaque lens is removed and a new artificial lens is inserted. I remember our neighbor having the same problem. You know Kabir, our teacher was saying that if we eat a proper diet like vegetables, fruits, especially vitamin A rich food like spinach, carrots, then our eyesight can remain better. Direct sunlight is also bad for the eye. Yes, also the yoga teacher in our school has taught some good eye exercises. These exercises help us keep the eye muscles strong and healthy. Both of us should do this every morning. In fact, I'll ask mummy to join us too. You know, I wonder that we see so much through our eyes. How do people with blindness function? It is indeed difficult for them. But the modern technology and braille is helping the people with visual difficulty to function better. There is Braille code for common languages, mathematics and scientific notations. Many Indian languages can be read using the Braille system. I think we should make sure that the students in our school having visual difficulties can easily function in our school. For us, going to school and coming back is easy. But for them, it may be hard. We must ask our friends what problems they face and see if we can help solve those. What do you think? It is a fantastic idea. Let us start making the list of all we can do for the same. But first, we should eat some carrots that mom had brought for us. 
The concepts we learnt in this chapter The white portion of the eye is called cornea The iris helps to regulate the light that enters our eye The lens helps form the image on the retina. Vitamin A rich food is helpful to maintain the health of our eyes. Diseases like cataract and others can happen if we don't take care of our eyes properly. Visually impaired people can learn and read through a coded language called braille. Perfect vision or normal vision is said to be 20/20. The person who checks our vision is called an ophthalmologist. To protect the eyes, we should keep our eyes muscles relaxed and well lubricated. If our eyes get dry, then we should use eye drops.